Hello everybody, glad that you could be here. Alan Biggs welcoming you to this Football First on behalf of youaretheref.com. Um, coaches and managers baiting the fourth official? Uh, when decisions are not being made right, as the manager feels, he's going to venge against somebody. You know, he's going to go after somebody. And unfortunately, there's a guy sat there who, who, who stands up and, and takes the flak, if you like. Uh, I, I think it's difficult. Uh, I think the fact that all we could do really is move him away from that, that area. You know, he can still officiate from a, a different area. Uh, the fact that they turn him around and he's there, I mean, we get so petty for me. I mean, he's the fourth official going out and he, you know, a manager's got his job on the line and he's trying to put a point across to his players, but he's come out of his box. I mean, what's that going to do with it? Whether he, as long as he don't cross that line onto the playing field, then I think he's got a, an entitlement, to be honest. I mean, I, I was at Hillsborough against Rotherham United and uh, Steve Evans and his, uh, his mate. It was just, it was a sideshow. In fact, the game was so boring that became the entertainment. Yeah, I agree, and, it was very entertaining. And, and, and I sat there and I'm thinking, you know, the f I'll tell you one thing, the fourth official is not there to explain to the managers the decisions that are being made by the referee. Yeah. As the panel have already recognised, the success of goal line technology is paving the way for other improvements in the modern game. Should football follow the NFL's lead in operating a challenge system where each coach gets two opportunities per match to review a referee's decision by video replay. You know, it, it could work. I, I, don't, I don't think it's something that's going to be too detrimental to us. You know, we, we've got to look at the best ways of helping referees uh, and, and helping football. It works, you know, in, it works in other sports. I mean, you know... It, it does, yeah. No one's complained about the challenges they have in tennis. I'm not, I'm, I'm not so sure about you have two, two appeals. I, I'm, I don't know. We're, we're a long way from, you know, talking about what we're going to do. But I think... Normally, on a key match incident, the game has stopped. 99% of the times, the game has stopped. So if, if the referee's unsure, then he can go straight to the video referee. Who's in there? Is, 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 is it a panel of three? Maybe no, just two out of the three, you get the vote right? No, you no it's, just one, it's just one guy that sits in the truck, he looks at all the decisions. That's one person's opinion, isn't it? Handball and what constitutes a penalty have become a raging debate this season, uh, with several clear penalties missed. Uh, what do the panel think? <laughs> It's just that it boils down to the consistency again, doesn't it? Because you see some given, and it's, is it ball to hand, hand to ball? That's the, is it hands raised? Dodge. Is yeah. it your hands down that is there? The, that that is the body problem. bigger. Make yourself you know, bigger. If, if you've problem. got your hand up here and sometimes you jump naturally like this and the ball hits your hand, is that intentional? People say that's a penalty. You know, it's, it's the grey areas, it's the problems. And so, I mean, that's the problem. I mean, it's just, it, it comes down to what's accidental and what's not. I mean, you know, the rules are, you know, it's, it's one person's opinion and that's what the referee. I, you know, I was at a game where a handball was given, it was Newcastle, Southampton, that was full official. The, the defender's outstretched and he's out and the ball is he's crossed the ball and he's at his arm. He's, he's, he's using his arm his back. He hasn't put the arm to the arm to the ball. Okay? So he's given a penalty. In his evaluation, he was told that wasn't a penalty. Okay? Now, four five weeks later, I was at Fulham, Fulham Liverpool, and I'd done exactly the same thing, thinking, right, the evaluation said that's not a penalty. So I didn't give a penalty. My evaluation come back and said, I should have given a penalty. A few guys don't know, then what That's chance what have we got? That's what I'm saying. Should there be retrospective punishment introduced for blatant simulation? If they, put, if they put something in place where the players know what the punishment's going to be, the managers know, everybody knows what the punishment's going to be, then you can come in and say, look, you've been caught out, there's the evidence, there's your ban, done. It's as simple yeah. as that. It's not something I, I, I just can't do. I just... It's a, I guess, a pride in, installed in me, and it's just something I can't do. We were talking about in the in the room there before. It's just something, you know. Maybe if I'd have simulated or gone down a little bit easier, I would have earned more penalties. And like I said, I did this interview last week, and he was trying to say 200 penalties. I said, look, maybe 50. If I'd have gone down or the shirt had been so maybe 50 penalties. But it's just not in my nature. I just can't physically do it. What is the panel's view on the current standard of refereeing? Is it improving or declining? Wh which members of the panel agree? Uh, that would agree, say, with the hypothesis that standards of refereeing are improving? Would any? And which would say it's declining? I presume all of you, or are there, are there any abstentions? I'd say it's declining at all levels. Not, so, not, not just at, not just at, at um, football league level, select group level, 
contribute level as well. I've witnessed some pretty poor performances this year, which is sad. You know, there's a lot of investment uh, going into refereeing. Uh, when I left the PGMOL, we were around about five million pounds going into referee training, management, and various other things. Now that figure is double that. It's, we're, we're close to 10 million going into refereeing. I'm not seeing this uh, progression. Yes, I mean, we had an incident a couple of weeks ago where Joe Art has come running out, he's put his head in the head of the Michael Oliver. Without a shadow of a doubt, he should red have been card. shown a red card and he should have been sent off. That would have killed a lot of dissent from that. Was, that was sent a great big message out, a message to all the players, hey, you know, we're not gonna tolerate this. Stu, rejoin us for the ref show next week. Bye-bye for now.